Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is another Watcher of Realms video. It is 0854 Thursday, January the 18th. We are doing a fra faction trials challenge this morning. Let's go to faction trials. Esotericists, 12, no power of dominance. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear this. Uh, three crystals, three star, whatever. Stage 12, power, no power of dominance, no legendaries, no heals. Uh, you can do that. You need to clear it with Soulcore intact and with all heroes alive. Now, the cool part is that that does not have to be done in one run if you're trying to clear this. It can be done uh, in two separate runs. Once, uh, someone can die, but you can kill all the monsters and keep the Soulcore intact. Another one, you can make sure to despawn folks so that they don't die, and then maybe one or two monsters slip through to the finish line so everyone's alive, but the Soulcore is not intact. You can do it in two runs if you need to. I think that's kind of ironic here is to beat stage 10 and unlock power of dominance, you need two healers. So right now that's Elowen and Ezrin, two legendaries, but for 11 and 12, you don't got to do that. So we're not going to. Let's see who we're going to use. I am using Epic Lord Raiden. Uh, Raiden and I are my two primary DPS. I've got Cyclone, Navras, uh, Nisalt, Selkath, Ardeath, Laurel, everyone's favorite, Gonkba, and Jankar. So, um, everyone is six star level 60, except for Gonkba. He's level 50. He's here for CC. He throws out some slows with his ult. Um, I think, uh, Raiden and I are max skilled. Novarus might be because I originally needed to use him to clear Nightmare 12. But other than those three, no one else is max skilled. So there's room for improvement here. Um, but, but let's get to the run. I have legitimate step-by-step -step walkthroughs of all stage 10, 11, and 12s for every single faction. If you're struggling anywhere, go check them out. Um, and if you're still struggling after you watch it, leave me a comment. I'll help you out. We're going to get Ardeath down first. He's going to tank. This is the trickiest part of the run right here. Is that Ardeath has to stay alive long enough for me to get I down to start putting out some ice crystals. And then there's some RNG with I. She needs to place an ice crystal. Oh, Ardeth's ult. Pay attention, Jake. She needs to place an ice crystal on that night. There's one. To give me some time to get Cyclone down. Come on, there we go. Get him. Cyclone. Now Ardeth can survive one more. Okay. He can survive the first hit, not the second one. One. Come on. Get out of there. Cyclone finishes him off. We're going to get Gonkba down for some slows. A little bit of RNG here with that knight on the right, but it shouldn't be an issue. Pick it up. There we go. Get him. Nice. We're going to get Nisalt down up top. He's there for two reasons. One, he'll do a little extra DPS. But two, and most importantly, he's there for aggro for Raiden. Raiden's going to take out that top left corner. But the mages, they target whoever has the highest rage. And when they attack them, they lower their rage. So I need someone there with Raiden so that the mages don't hit Raiden and A, drain his rage, and B, kill him. Once I get Ardeth back, I can use him. Put him down. Again, aggro purposes. Let's get him down. Nisalt. I think he can survive another hit. Let's get him out of here so we can put Laurel down. I need Raiden's ult to come up. There we go. There we go. I'm going to pull our death again. He served his purpose. He almost died. <coughs> oh my gosh. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. Let's get... Um, let's pull Laurel because I still need that spot. I want to use it for aggro purposes. 
we'll get uh, not novice. We're gonna put Selkath down first, so that he will aggro for I. I don't want I to be targeted by the mages, because I need her to be constantly putting out her her ice bombs. So as long as the mages are targeting one of those four champions around I, at this point she won't get targeted. It is highly, highly unlikely. So she can keep cycling through her ult, keep placing bombs. Speed it up just a little bit. There we go. Let's get any salt down again. Cyclone's going to get hit here. So you got to pay attention now. More mages come out, and they're going to start attacking everyone that you're using for aggro. So if one of them gets low, you really have to pay attention and pull them. Like, Selkath is really close to dying. There we go. Yeah, he's gone. Um, got to pull him before he dies. This mage will now target... Mage up in the top left will target an assault instead of Raiden. Perfect. We get our, our death down. Right side. We're looking pretty good. No more mages over there, so we'll use Navras. I'm going to hold on to Nisalt's ult. There we go. That way, Raiden can use his. Let's get rid of Nisalt, because our death is there for aggro purposes. We'll get Laurel down. We'll pull her. That way, Raiden can get his ult a second time. Cyclone's here. He's close. Let's pull him just so he doesn't accidentally get hit once. I should be able to take care of that last one by herself. We're going to get Raiden's ult one more time. There we go. Come on. Come on. This is close. There we go. There we go. All right. Eyes cleaning up that last one. She got it done. I want them to stop and... Ooh, didn't even have to swing. If they need to swing, I want to wait to pull Ardath until they swing so that to, to waste an extra second of time. Didn't need to for that one. Now he's got his ult, so we're good. That's the run. We did it. Um, no legendaries, no healers. Perfect three-star, three-crystal, whatever. Um, thank you so much for your time. If you appreciated that, if you enjoyed it, if you learned something, if you just want to support the channel, I would love it. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next one.